So yesterday I had just got finished doing the rubber on this set of rails. It's a Gandy Big G. And I had started to do the cloth on here and my customer wanted to go with standard green. And a thought hit me as I started doing the cloth. Has anybody ever done a video explaining why standard green is the traditional color for pool tables? So I did a little bit of research into YouTube and come to find out, no, nobody's ever done it. So I guess that makes me a trendsetter. But without going into too much of the history of it, yeah, a little bit of history. I'm gonna tell you, number one, why this is the traditional color. Number two, what colors are available. Not all of them, but let you know that there are multiple colors available and what colors I recommend and don't recommend. So stick around. I get a lot of customers that call me up looking to get their table recovered or moved and recovered. And in the course of talking with them, I find out that their table is currently covered in standard green. Well, especially in a case where we're moving and recovering a table, I'll tell the customer, well, if you want to get your table recovered, we can change up the color of the cloth. And believe it or not, more often than not, the customer's response is, well, I thought that green was the only color available. Well, no, there's a whole wide spectrum of different colors that you can get. But going into the conversation a little bit more, they'll usually ask me, well, how did standard, how, why do we use green as, why are most tables that I see green? Well, there's a little bit of history involved in this, and it has to do with the origins of the game of pool. Now, pool got its origin from outdoor lawn stick and ball type games where you would use you know, large balls and a mallet or a stick of some kind to knock balls around. Croquet or, and forgive me, I have to use my cheat sheet here. There's a game called Jeu de Mel. I guess it's a French game. And Pal Mal, P-A-L-L-E dash M-A-L-L-E. That's from Wikipedia. Um, but anyway, the origin of the color of cloth dates back to resembling the grass that these games were played on. Well, if you were really, really rich back in the day, these were the games that you played. You played these outdoor lawn games and days when it was raining and you wanted to play, but you didn't have anything that you could do. So... You'd take a big sack of gold or a big sack of coin, go down to the local carpenter of the town, and you'd commission him to build you something that resembled this outdoor game that you could play indoors. And eventually, over time, that progressed into the game's collectively known modern, uh, in modern times, as billiards, pocket pool, um, eight ball, nine ball, these are all games that evolved out of these early games that were played on tables that were brought indoors. And the color of the cloth is, well, it gets its origin because it resembled grass. Now, why do we keep using standard green? Why is green still the go-to standard? Well, because it, it provides a high contrast, but yet easy on the eyes color that you can play on for extended periods of time. Now, some of you may be saying, but I've seen tournaments played on TV and they're not playing on green, they're playing on blue. And that's true, they are. But it has to do with, more to do with, well, what I'm doing right here, which is filming or videoing. And to show it up, better on a CRT TV or a, an LCD TV, anything that's going to be with color, uh, with light, uh, it's going to come out better if it were in blue. Now, uh, one of the things that you'll notice on these tournaments that you see on TV is that not only is the cloth blue, but the balls are a different shade of their normal color. They use high contrast balls. That isn't because that's what these guys are used to playing on and that's what they like. They do it because that's what shows up best on 
camera, on television. So that's why we use green and we use blue. That's how green got to be, you know, the, the choice for, the traditional choice for pool tables is because it resembled lawns. Now, interesting here, and this is a little bit of a side note, but I watched a video earlier this morning. Uh, Linus Tech Tips did a video on why printed circuit boards are green. And oddly enough, it's for a lot of the same reasons, minus the lawns, okay? But it has to do with the same reasons why we still use green on the tables today. It's because it's a high contrast color. You can put a myriad of other colors against it and they show up well. Um, in printed circuit boards, they use a lot of white to mark out the positions of different capacitors, resistors, diodes, that kind of thing, uh, IC chips everything. And they use a lot of silver traces or gold colored traces. And, you know, if you're an engineer or you're somebody that works on computer boards all day long, that helps to be able to rapidly pick up where there's a break in a, say, a trace or a blown out capacitor, a blown out fuse, resistor, whatever. And the same thing holds true with pool table cloth. The reason why we still use green, why green is traditionally used, is because you can see the edges of the ball much better as compared to putting it against other colors. Now, that's how green got to be, but what colors do I recommend? Do I normally recommend green? I have nothing against using standard green, and if anybody wants to use it, it's perfectly cool. I think it goes well in just about every decor it's traditional, and if you have a pool table and you go with standard green, it'll pretty much match just about anything. And if it doesn't, it's still traditional enough that you can get away with keeping it in, you know, using that color with just about any decor. But let's say you wanted to match your decor. What colors would I recommend and what colors would I tell you to, to steer clear of if possible? Well, I usually tell my customers to steer clear of anything that's going to be on one extreme of the spectrum or the other. And what I mean by that is not so much the colors themselves, but the lack thereof. So anything that's gonna be really dark, like black, black cloth, absolutely, I would tend to avoid it. Now I know a lot, black is a very popular color these days. Until you have it and until you use it on your table, it's popular because, well, people don't realize how much lint, dust, debris, pet hair, human hair, everything that it collects. So unless you want to buy stock in lint roller manufacturers, steer clear of black. Same thing holds true for navy blue. Navy blue is going to show up everything just like black does. What other colors do I recommend that you steer clear of? Well, the other end of the spectrum, anything super bright, that's going to be, and again, go back to the card here, anything on this bottom row, everything from pink going all the way up to white. And yes, they do make white pool table cloth. I would never put white on a table unless all you want to do is look at it, uncover it, glance at it for a little bit, and then cover it back up. So that's one type of, uh, of cloth that I, or that's a couple of ends of the spectrum that I would typically tend to steer a customer away from. What else would I steer a customer away from? Well, there have been numerous scientific studies to see what colors are hardest for your eyes to see for extended periods of time. Chiefly among those is yellow. Yellow is exceptionally difficult on the eyes. Granted, it's a high contrast color and you could put any other color with the exception of maybe the one in the nine ball against that yellow background and you'll see them beautifully. However, they really play, play tricks on the rods and cones of your eyes. So unless you want lots of eye fatigue, steer clear of yellow. And believe it or not, the same thing holds true for red. Anything in the red family. Now, back to here. That's going to be red, burgundy, wine, pink, or bright red. 
Now, I've never seen any studies done about orange or the uh, bright lime, but I would assume that since they are such harsh colors, they are meant to be very high visible colors, that your eyes are also going to wreak havoc trying to play on those colors for a long time. So what would I recommend? If those are the colors that I don't recommend, what do I recommend? Well, anything else. The sky is really the limit. Uh, a very popular color these days is camel, charcoal, uh, steel gray. Anything like that is going to be fantastic for playing on. Again, nice contrast. There aren't any other balls that are that color, so you should be able to see all of the rest of the colors pretty easily on it. And, you know, ultra-modern houses, the, that ultra-modern decor, steel gray and charcoal work great for those. If you have more of a rustic, traditional color, go with the camel. Very, very, very popular colors. So, anyway, that's what I have for you today. I hope you learned something. I hope I've at least been somewhat entertaining in it. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe notification first, then hit the bells. Um, follow me on Instagram and follow me on Facebook. That's Billiards of New Orleans on both Instagram and Facebook. And also, I'm going to leave links down below. I do it with every one of my videos. I leave links, Amazon links down below for every single tool that I use in my arsenal. If you want to get into doing pool tables, and I do and don't recommend it, it's not the best job for everyone, but if you like doing pool tables and you're considering doing this as a career, the tools that I have will help you get in and out of a location quick, very quickly. Anyway, uh, I'll leave those links down below. Um, write me some comments. I'd love to get some more ideas for some more videos. What would you like to see? And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Y'all take care.